So this here is an 1863 Sharps carbine. It's a breech loader, black powder rifle, and an 54 caliber. And it's made to take paper cartridges, but I'll get to that in a minute. So this gun belongs to a friend of mine and he uses it for reenacting. And every time I've shot it with him, it's performed just terribly. <laughs> and I hate to use the phrase, but you really can't hit the broad side of a barn with it. I hate that cliche. The accuracy is just terrible. And so I asked him, I says, hey, you know, I'd like to take it and, you know, see if I can figure out what's going on with it. So he let me take it. And to cut to the chase, the way I got it to shoot well was to stop using paper cartridges. I and mean, we just load loose ammunition. So you open the breech, stuff the bullet in the chamber, pour the powder on top of it, close the breech, cap it, and shoot it. And it wasn't until we did that that it really started to perform outstanding. And uh, I've shot it three times now, and it's just, it, it's a tack driver. It, it really shoots great. <laughs> this fucker is dialed. This is set, man. Woo. Really show off here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice shooting, Chick. I think she's ready to roll. I think she's ready to roll. Right. Oh, so you gonna pull the trigger? I might. If they don't want to pull me out of the air. Oh, wow, look how low that hit. I saw it. I saw it, okay. Now you know where you hit? Yeah. Sure. We introduced you to Jake Quigley, so. Did I get it this time? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey! Woo I think he's falling in love with that gun again. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have trouble getting it back from me, Jim. <laughs> Did you change up sights, pop them up? Right? I popped it to 35 grains and I held right on it. Really? Yep. I'll try it again, actually, just see if it works. How about that? If it makes you happy, but. Grains. <laughs> and you got it on camera. Twice! Twice! So how far is that? 100 and... 145 yards? Here, I'll check. yards. 160? 160 yards. Oh. So these next couple shots here, I was using the flip-up sight. Uh, which worked just fine. I just had to figure out where to hold. And even at this distance with this powder charge, I still had to hold a little under the target. Oh, heard it hit the bush. Damn good, yeah. Not bad, young man. Where were we aiming with that? Low. I was aiming like, like halfway down the target. <laughs> nice. Look, Jimmy. You don't want this thing, right? <laughs> that, so that was the ladder sight all the way flipped up and brought all brought the thing all, all the way, way down. down and yeah. I still had to aim eh, halfway down the stand. That was cool. So this thing was shooting so damn good, I decided to really push my luck and go all the way out to 220 yards. Oh yeah, you hit it. 200 fucking yards. 220, I believe it was actually, what? but who's counting? Damn. And then one more shot just to make sure it wasn't pure luck.
So my theory on why this thing was shooting so poorly uh, basically is because of how we were constructing the paper cartridges we were using. Now, the bullet that we use is the old-style ringtail bullet, uh, sometimes referred to as a Christmas tree bullet. And in my not-so-humble opinion, this is the worst bullet to use when you're using a paper cartridge. So the way we were making these paper cartridges was like this here cartridge on the top. But the problem is when you push that cartridge into the chamber, it actually doesn't seat all the way in there because it stops on that paper way up there at the top of that bullet. Then when you go to close your breech, you're going to clip off more powder than you were counting on because you got bad measurements and every cartridge is going to be seated a little bit different depending on how much you shove that thing in there because it's compressing that paper a little bit. And I measured or weighed the powder that I've clipped off of the end of these things and it can vary anywhere between 5 and about 18 grains depending. And what that is is a recipe for a firearm that will never shoot consistently. So, if you're going to use the ringtail bullet, you need to do the paper cartridges like this here on the bottom. My problem with that is, that is a complete and total pain in the ass if you've ever tried it. But I guess it's not all that bad. I mean, that's what led me to loading it with loose ammunition, and that's what pretty much fixed the problem. So, I think really what this is, is a lesson in load consistency. Because if you got inconsistent loads, you're going to have an inconsistent shooting gun. And I think the worst part is now, is that it's fixed and it shoots great. Now I got to give it back to the guy that owns it. So, as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button. If you did think it sucked, well, then start making your own damn videos. There, I could die happy now. <laughs> Fucking 80 yards, man.